Bro, I have a friend who literally just started selling digital products on Etsy. Like, you know those wall arts that I talked about in the past where you can sell them on Etsy? So they messaged me, they were like, bro, I think Etsy digital products are dead. And I'm just like, well, how come, bro? They're like, bro, like nothing is selling on my store. So I'm just like, okay, have you tried selling like another digital product maybe? And he was just like, thing is, like there is no other easy digital products other than wall art. So I'm just like, what, bro? You're, you're telling me there's no easy products to sell on Etsy? Bro, sometimes I can't even sleep because there's so much opportunity going on. So bro, let me show you seven digital products that you can sell right now on Etsy. And what's amazing is that most of these, you can just use AI to create them. So listen, don't tell me this is freaking hard. This is not hard. Like bro, freaking back then people had to walk so much long distances just so they can gain one like golden nugget of knowledge. Now you freaking have the entire internet in front of you where you can do anything that you want. So that being said, we're gonna start with the easiest one. <laughs> All right, look, so you see this Chody right here. So this guy's selling like a logo design for people who want logos, right? So as you can see, he's selling it for $39 plus, but then if you go down, it's like there's many items. So if you wanna have like a logo plus social media, whatever, or a logo plus business card, you can have like, you can pay more, right? But that's the entire idea. All they're doing is just selling logos. And then if we go on their actual store, they've got 13,000 sales. Now, if we just see when they started, so if you just go down, we can see that they actually started all the way back in 2019. So some of you guys might be like, well, bro, this guy started all the way back then. He only has like 13,000 sales. Like, let's go back. But listen, if we just go here and we just see how many sales they're getting per month, we could see that they're actually making $4,000 in, in revenue per month. So that's like $4,000 in profit per month just on this like this one exact product because it's a it's a logo. Like you don't need to like freaking put any cost into this. So like me seeing this, I'm like, there's actually opportunity in here. But what I what I did here, so I just went and I searched up for more people who are selling logos. And then I saw this guy right here. So these people have 14,000 sales or you could say 15,000 sales. But then if you go down, you could see that these people actually started all the way back in like, like what, 2020 or like 2021. So they're actually pretty recent. And what's cool, bro, is that they only have seven products right here. So if I see a store, bro, who has like this many sales right here and they have like below 10 products, like for me, I'm just like, that's freaking insane. Like there's so much opportunity here. Like if I can come in, I can probably improve on something that they're doing that's wrong. And we can tell that they're actually doing something wrong, which is not posting enough listings. As you know, if you post more listings on Etsy, you're able to like get more traffic on your store and as a result, get more sales. But these people took the extremely lazy route by just having like a, a picture of like their service and that's it. Bro, they could have went on freaking like Fiverr and did the exact same thing here, but they're actually smart. They went on Etsy and posted their service on Etsy. So as a result, they actually got more business than people on Fiverr. And then if we click analyze listing, we could see like this exact listing so far is making them also $4,000 in, in sales and revenue. And then if we just check their other listing, which is this one, hire a graphic designer, blah, blah, blah. We can just click on this and we can see that they're actually making $1,500 in revenue from this other product. So overall, you could just say they're making like $5,500 in revenue every single month just from this one exact store, which is actually pretty nice because like they, again, bro, like they really took the extremely lazy, lazy route. So like what I would do right here is I would just come and I would just do the same as them. But now you're gonna be like, well, bro, how am I supposed to fulfill on this? Well, this is where you go on mid journey and you just type in, like you type in imagine and then just type in whatever logo that you wanna do. So as you can see here, I just basically created a logo with a cross axis and trees. So I kinda wanted to make it similar to this, cross axis and trees, but <laughs> I'm not the best at promise yet. So it kind of looks like this, right? So let's just say this is a beautiful logo, which it actually kind of is, bro. But the idea is that you want to get better at prompts. As you can see here, like this logo, if you have like a brand that actually connects with this logo, what you would do is that, for example, like let's just say you want this, what you would do is that you would actually just download it and then we want to just change the text right here. So you see the text right here, we want to change it. So what we would use is Photoshop, or if you don't know how to use Photoshop, and if you can't have access to Photoshop, just go on Google, type in free Photoshop alternatives, and you'll see a bunch of free Free Photoshop alternatives, okay? So basically we have this logo right here on Photoshop and what we can do is we can actually just change this entire name right here because AI is not that good at writing text on pictures. So then you need to come and actually just change it. And obviously we're just gonna be using Photoshop because I mean, I don't know what else we can use for this, bro. So as you can see, we can just change this text right here. So we're gonna change it from this. So we take it out and we just change it to this, Aritzia and Trees. Now this, this might look bad, I don't know, but it looks good in my opinion. I named it Aritzia and Trees just because I have right here an Aritzia box, like a box from Aritzia, and I'm looking at trees. So I'm just like, Aritzia and Trees. This actually could be a good book brand if, you, if you're writing books, Aritzia and Trees. <laughs> but no, like, do you see how easy this is? So we just basically created an entire logo just like this with, with, with Mid Journey. And then we just changed the text with Photoshop. And obviously you can play around with the text. Like for example, we can probably put it in like a better place if we just like move it around and stuff. We can, 
you can do a lot if you have Photoshop. And bro, I truly recommend you learn Photoshop. Like, like Photoshop is just like, it's a skill that's gonna make you feel like you can do anything that you want. Like if you wanna fake things, you can do it. If you wanna make things look really, you can do it. You can do anything that you want. But yeah, the, bro, this is like a logo right here. Then what you could do, and then if you wanna showcase it like this brand is doing right here, you could do it. Or if you wanna just do what this brand is doing, for example, three logos in 24 hours, you could do it. As you can see, bro, like we're just, we're, we're like a, we're like the master, right? And we've got all these things under us, like the mid journey or like Photoshop. And then all we're just doing is having these ideas that are coming into our brains. And we're just using all these tools to create these ideas. Like bro, back then people would like, they would freaking wish they had access to these tools that we have right now. So how difficult is it to do logos and selling it on Etsy? Well, I would give it like around 6.5 out of 10 if you're able to like learn how to do Photoshop properly. But even that, like it's not that hard because AI is doing most of the work for you. Okay, so for the second digital products that you can sell on Etsy, it's actually coloring books. Bro, I had no idea that adults nowadays, they still color. Like when I learned that, I'm like, like my mind was just blown. But adults actually still color nowadays, which is crazy. So basically I found this brand right here called Christine Karen. They have like 35,000 sales and they're just selling like coloring stuff. So like, look at this. This is like a freaking coloring thing or like this is a coloring thing. And then this is a coloring thing. Like me just looking at all these pictures. I'm just like, bro, like freaking Mid Journey created these. Like 100% Mid Journey created these. And let me just show you how easy it is to create these. So look, I just went and I just typed in Crystal Enchantress coloring page. And I basically got that from here, right? Like I'm just like, Crystal, Enchantress, or whatever that means, portraits or whatever. And then like, that's what it came up with. Like you can just literally take one of these and then put it on Etsy and it's gonna sell just as well at what these people are doing. Now, obviously what you're supposed to be doing is actually get the coloring one and then have the one that's like not colored where people are supposed to come in color. Just so you can have it like this. So this one's colored and then this one's not colored. So then we would just come and we would just say, Crystal, Enchantress, whatever that freaking word is, uh, colored or whatever. Do you know what I mean? And then you can just take any of these and then put them on Etsy and just sell them the same way these people are doing it right here. So like, again, like do you see how easy this is? And these people, like they got so many sales, bro. Like freaking 35,000 sales. So then what I would do, I would literally just go on Etsy and I would just be like coloring pages. And I would look at all these people right here. Like these people, some of them actually recently started. And I would see who's the one that actually started recently and now they're actually getting good sales. But not just that, I wanna see who actually started and they don't have like a bunch of products, but they're still getting a good amount of sales because remember, success, it actually leaves clues, bro. So if you just find someone who's done this recently and they're getting actually a good amount of sales and good money, then if you just go and copy them, you'll do as good as them. So you see these people, they've they've sold 19,000 sales and then we just see their products and it's just like a tree and then just like a building and then trees and stuff like that. Like these things are so easy to make, bro. Just use mid journey and that's it. So once again, like how hard is this entire uh, digital product niche? It's actually a bit easier than the logos. So I'd give it 7.5 out of 10 because like all you're doing is just using AI to create these images. But then you also have to be good at the prompt section. Like you have to be good at making prompts, bro. Okay, so this next one is actually so funny. So bro, look at this. So there are some people actually who have found a way to sell pictures that are old, who don't have any copyrights on them anymore. So like, as you can see, like you see this picture right here, like this picture at some point had copyrights on it and you can't sell it. But these people are coming here and they're selling it and they're making good money from it. Like 9,000 sales, bro, that's freaking amazing. And then they started, like when did they start? You can see that they started in 2021. So like not that long ago. And then like, here they are selling pictures of Vincent van Gogh. <laughs> like that's amazing. Or for example, these people right here who are selling something very similar. Like for example, look at these. It's just a, it's just a painting. Or like, look at this, it's just another painting. People are actually interested in these, right? Cause these are old paintings that people have used in the past. But how do you get access to these? Well, what you do is you go on this website called freeimages.com. This is gonna show you images that have once used to actually sell but because they're actually way too old, nowadays they don't sell anymore. So for example, if you just type in like, like the Mona Lisa, you could see it's like all these images right here, they don't have copyrights on them anymore. So then if you just come and you start selling them too, like it's okay, it's actually legal. So like this one, for example, you can literally just download this and then go on Etsy and start selling it. Or if you go down, you can see even more stuff. For example, this one, Mona Lisa with the mustache, you can just come and start selling this. Like that's actually beautiful. Now let's just say we wanna sell this exact one, but then obviously you don't just go on Etsy and like just freaking <laughs> list this just like that because that doesn't look nicely presented, right? So what you would do is you would go on Printify, for example, and I've talked about this so many times, bro, so many times. Go on Printify and just go on catalog. And then from here, look for things like canvas or posters. So I'm just gonna click on canvas and just pick whichever one you want. So like, for example, let's just say I'm gonna pick this one, just click on it and then go down and click start designing and then from here this is where you're going to be editing everything so we click on my device and then we put the picture of the mona lisa that we just downloaded and then just make it a bit bigger and then you click on preview and then as you can see it looks just like this so then if you look at it in terms of context <laughs> it looks just like this <laughs> which is actually very nice what we're trying to do is we're trying to come and make it seem like just like this right so we want to have it like nicely presented with a poster or a canvas 
You don't want to just come and then just list it as it is, because that's not that doesn't look nice. Like, let's just say we don't like this exact poster right here. Just go back, click on posters, and then we're going to have all these other posters right here. So like, let's say, for example, we want this one now, right? So then we just click on it and then go down, click start designing. And then once again, my device and then stick the Mona Lisa in and then just fix it up. So like put it all the way at the top, make it fit the entire page. Mona Lisa with the mustache and then click on preview. And then as you can see, it looks just like that. Like, bro, that's actually beautiful. So it looks just like that, which is very nice, actually. So what you could do is this. You can literally just come and sell it as like a digital product for $6 or whatever. But you would have like this exact picture. Like you would have this picture on your Etsy listing so that it would look nicely presented. Or you can even go a step further and actually sell the exact physical product. So we're not just talking about digital products anymore. We can even sell physical products with this. So Mona Lisa with the mustache, just come and like take this exact picture and then put it on Etsy. But then you wouldn't say it's a digital download. It would be an actual physical product and you would price it accordingly. Like you would just click save. And then as you can see, you could pick the pictures right here and then just go down, name it like an actual good name on Etsy that would get you more traffic on it. And then for the price, Printify just gives you the price. So for example, you are going to be paying $32 for this exact supplier right here. So then you would price it accordingly. Like you would price it at $54. And then whenever someone buys it from Etsy, Printify is just going to be fulfilling the entire order for you. And yes, bro, this is legal to do on Etsy. I know sometimes people are like, but bro, it's not, you're not allowed to do dropshipping on Etsy and all that stuff. Bro, people do this on Etsy. You're actually allowed to do this. So with this exact idea, you're taking a, a picture that has been copyrighted in the past before, but not anymore. And then you're just taking it and you're selling it. So you could sell it as a digital product or you could sell it as a physical product where you would use the print on demand model. Do you get me? It's not that hard, it's so easy. So for this one, like what's the difficulty on this? Bro, it's freaking 10 out of 10. All you're doing is going on freeimages.com, finding images, paintings that are ancient and that sold in the past before, and you're just taking it and then re-monetizing it, which is legal to do. And then for example, you could do so many things. Like for example, I just typed in Tartaria. If you guys don't know what Tartaria is, that's okay. It's one of those controversial things that no one wants to talk about. But basically just look at this. Like this is just a map of Tartaria. And then if you go down, it's like, look at all these images of Tartaria in the past. You can actually just come and sell these images. People are actually interested in these. Like I'm interested in these. Just take these pictures, go on Printify, stick it in like we did with the Mona Lisa, and then go on Etsy and just list it. And that's it. So easy, bro. Okay, so for this next product, what we're going to do with this one is we're still going to be using this website called freeimages.com. And basically, we're going to be copying what this exact store did right here. So as you can see, they have 500,000 sales. So 500,000 sales, bro. That literally translates to like a minimum, like literally a minimum. Worst case scenario, $500,000 in revenue, in pure profit. But what these guys are doing is they're selling these things right here, right? They're selling it for $5. So if we just do the math real quick, like how much did they make overall? So five times 500,000, $2.5 million in profit just selling these things right here. And what are these things? So it's these things called junk journals and craftings. So basically it's like these PDF files that people can download and then they just print it in their own home and then that's it. So like, as you can see here, it's just pages of images that look like they're very vintage and ancient and all that stuff. And people are just downloading them and then printing it and that's it. So let me just give you more proof. So this one product right here for them, there is making them $1,000 in sales every single month. So that's like profit. And then if you click on this one, this one is making them $2,000 in sales every single month recently. And if, if we click on the third one, this one's making $1,000 in sales every single month. So knowing that they have 800 products just on the store, you could say they're safely making $5,000 every single month in profit it like minimum i'm talking minimum and then it's like okay how do you get these images right here well look you got to be thinking of the presentation that's the only thing that you got to be thinking of when you're doing digital products it's just the presentation and that's it so as you can see here like it's just the presentation here right these are just digital downloads but they're making it appear like it's way more than a digital download right so to the customer when they see this they can actually imagine themselves actually using this exact product on their journals so what they're doing to customers is that they're just buying this product they're printing it and then they're putting it on their journal and that's it so what's happening is this right you're just taking a picture like this like you're just taking a picture that's historical for example like this one for example right you would just take it and then you would put it into a pdf so the pdf is what you fulfill to the customer like you would literally just take it and then send them the pdf right the customer has a paper like this like you see this paper right here the customer already has this right and then they're just printing the image so like you see this image right here like this is the image that you would send them in a pdf file or a png file or whatever and then they're just taking it and they're just printing it on their paper and that's it and this right here is junk journaling like i never knew this niche even existed but apparently it does exist. Bro, it's actually a very cute niche, like not gonna lie. So what's the difficulty behind this? Bro, I would freaking give this 11 out of 10. Like all you're doing is just sending them the PNG file or the PDF file and that's it, bro, that's it. Okay, Habibi, so the next thing you can do, a digital product that you can sell is actually this. So as you can see, this is called a treasure hunt. Now what these are is that they're basically digital downloads 
they're like games, right? So it's like a paper or just a principle that gives you a clue as to where the treasure is at. So just use your imagination with me a bit, okay? So it's like you give them a clue, right? So it's like a clue number five. If you solve the puzzle below, you'll find your next clue. And then they're just like, okay, let me scramble the words and then put them in. And then it's gonna give me like the exact clue as to where the treasure is at. Obviously this one is outdoor light. So then it's like, go to the outdoor light. Do you get it? And it's like, how do you create these? Well, bro, you just use words. You either use words, Photoshop, anything, just anything that you can create PDF files with and anything that you can add like these little icons here and the, this little icon here and like these dashes right here and then the actual words right here. So it's very simple. It's not that hard. And you can see they have 45,000 sales. Like that's a lot of sales, bro, especially with like this little products. And you can see they're doing like St. Patrick's Day indoor Easter treasure, uh, treasure or like outdoor Easter treasure. And it's crazy because there's actually a niche for this. Like there's a whole market for this. So just open up your brain, bro. Like there's so many untapped opportunities here. And it's like for this one, they give you the answers here, right? So obviously the person who's buying this, they know the answers, but the person who's buying this, they're gonna be giving it to their kids and then their kids don't know the answers. So it's like this one, I am used to feed feathered friends, but it's humans who fill me up when I've reached the end. Well, I don't know what that is, but apparently it's a bird feeder. So then they would read this text here and then they would go to the actual answer, which is the bird feeder. And then they would find a treasure there. And the treasure, you are the one that's gonna put it, which you're not gonna buy it from here. So this is one thing you could sell, which is basically just treasure hunt or a game for teenagers and kids. Another thing you can sell is actually this thing. So checklists. So like, bro, these are so easy to make. And by the way, this is the next digital product right here. All you gotta do is just add these things in words and then use words again to add all these things right here. And then bro, like people download these, like people actually buy this. So as you can see, like literally 76 reviews just on this one product right here. But what I would actually recommend is putting it in like an ultimate listing, right? So this is the ultimate listing. So they have literally all the checklists right here in just one listing. And then people, they can just come and download it and get instant access to everything. Because what this is gonna do is that it's gonna make your offer look a lot better because they're getting everything for like such little price, which is just $8, right? By the way, if you just click analyze listing, you can see like minimum amount of revenue this is generating per month is $800, right? Which you might think is like, bro, that's so little. But no, bro, these people have like freaking 100 listings and they've made 45,000 sales so far. So they're making good money, bro. So don't like think of this as like them making such little money. This is not little money. This is good. Like even this listing right here, if we just see how much they're making per month, you can see they're making minimum $700 in profit every single month because this is a digital product. Once again, you keep all the profit. And like this one, they're making $900 in profit from this one listing right here. So just think about it. Almost like 1,000, 1,000, and then probably 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 from all these listings. That's good money, bro. It's kind of like you just have like these little digital assets that are making you $1,000 in profit every single month which is beautiful. You just do the work once right here and then that's it. You just go and sell it on Etsy and that's it. Now the difficulty I would give for the checklist is maybe it's five out of 10 because you do have to do a lot of work beforehand to actually create it. You're not gonna be using AI as much except that if you wanna actually create the puzzles and all that stuff, you would have to use ChatGPT just so you wouldn't have to use your brain as much and you would let ChatGPT create the riddles for you. Okay, now for this next one, don't ask me why people actually buy this, but for some reason they do. So if you see right here, this is basically an editable boarding ticket template. It's so funny. I don't know why people buy this. Like this is obviously fake and they know it's fake, but for some reason they're buying it and like they're giving it, for, for example, like their kids. So for example, these people are like super easy to edit on Canva, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And they're just like, I edited it. I put my stuff on it. My daughter loved the ticket I made for her and they just gave it to their daughter. They put their pictures and all that stuff and that's it. I guess it's just like a nice present for some reason that I don't know if it has value in it, but to them it does. Now, if we look at how much the revenue this is actually generating, so we could see this is making $900 in profit every single month because it is a digital product, which you might think is actually little bro, but like if you have multiple listings of these and people are actually liking it and they're buying it, like $1,000 from just one listing every single month is not that bad if you have multiple listings. Like for example, if I just click on this one right here, cause it has a good amount of reviews, basically it has around like $1,800 in profit and sales every single month, which is not that bad, bro. And this store in general is actually pretty good. 12,000 sales for 53 products. Like this store is very good and they're just selling tickets, boarding passes, and that's it. Now it's like, okay, how do we actually create all these things? Well, bro, I just took the super extremely lazy route I just went on Canva and I just typed in boarding pass and then you go down and it's just like, okay, well these people already have like 10,000 templates right here. So like a template right here, a template right here, a template right here. And it's just like, go down, just pick whichever one you want. Like, let's just say we're gonna pick this one, even though this one is actually pro, but like you can actually edit all these things right here. You can pretty much change the name right here. So like, I'm just gonna say Mohammed, which is actually my name. And then class executive departing from DBI or like boarding time and all that stuff. And then the the code, the barcode is just so funny. And then people actually buy this for some reason. So how difficult is it to solve this exact digital product right here? 
Bro, it's so easy. Just go on freaking Canva, download this whole thing, get the template, and then just send it to your customers. And that's it. Once again, all you gotta do is just make sure the presentation looks very nice. So for example, what these people did, they just took a hand, they took the background, and they put the template or the ticket right here, and they probably used Photoshop, because you could pretty much use Photoshop to do this. Once again, bro, once again, learning Photoshop is such a nice skill, like it's gonna open up so many doors for you, so make sure you learn it. So just open up your eyes and realize that these things are actually easy to make, they're not that hard, and what's funny is that you're still actually providing value to people. Like, people actually want these things. For whatever reason, they want a fake boarding ticket. So I hope you can now realize it's not just about wall art, even though wall art is good, and it's not just about selling ebooks on Etsy, but the idea remains the same. Just find a store that's recent and they're making recent money right now and then just go and replicate what they're doing. Replicate it, but also make it better. Don't just copy it, but make it a lot better. So this is one thing you could do. Another thing you can do is that if you notice there's like a, there's like a store that has very little listings, like for example, this one, it has 12,000 sales, but they only have 53 listings. Then what you could do is just come and sell more products and then list more products as well. And then this is gonna allow you to actually dominate the whole market in whatever market you wanna get into. Cause as you know, like the more listings you have, the more traffic you'll have, and then the more sales you'll have and that's it. So once again, open up your eyes and realize there's so much opportunity. Like you shouldn't be able to sleep cause there's so much opportunity, bro. But anyway, if you wanna see a step-by-step -step on how I would start Etsy once again from scratch, you can literally just click on this video right here because I showed exactly how you can start dropshipping on Etsy starting from literally zero dollars and bro, Thank you for the 30,000 subscribers. I actually appreciate that. <laughs>